Get in nerds, we are playing Hearts of Iron 4. I got a little bit of prep work to do before I unpause here. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on that. Uh, the enemy has air superiority in the Alpine region, so we'll go ahead and deploy our air wings to negate that advantage. And I think these wings can go to Munich and be able to reach most of the region. <coughs> uh, I want to make sure... I don't think I ever designed better planes, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. Uh, we'll call these F-39s. Um, they're just going to be some basic fighter aircraft. We'll double up on light machine guns. We've still got engine twos. We're going to throw radio navigation and drop tanks on these. And that's going to make them much better. Uh, it's going to give them much better range, which is a thing I've been uh, kind of desperately needing. So we'll go ahead change that over. The JU-87s, let's see what those are. Those ones are basically good, actually. I'm going to give them drop tanks instead of turrets. Give them some extra range. Call them Cast 39. Again, we're not going to be producing these for a long time, but they are going to be uh, a, a medium-term investment. For the basic medium bombers, I think we're okay. We basically got what we need for them. Um, and I think the Panzer IIs are also basically good to go, but let's take a look and see. Yeah, they're okay. Could definitely use some uh, some secondary modules and some better armor. So we'll go ahead and do that. Although these are superbly low production cost. <coughs> go ahead and do smoke launchers, additional machine guns, and sloped armor since we got a little bit of army experience. And we're pretty good on speed and armor and reliability. I need to increase, increase the engines by just a bit. Get them up to... Is it worth it to bring them all the way up to 10? So it's a significant increase in production cost and a reduction in reliability. And we'll drop them back. We'll, we'll, we'll just increase their armor a little bit and leave them at 9. Alright, and we'll call these LT-39s. Um, the automatic cannon is not great, but it's pretty alright. Go ahead and save that. Uh, get started producing them. Um, we've also got access to the uh, medium tanks. So let's go ahead and start building those. <coughs> Got our basic medium tank chassis. We're going with a three-man turret. Christie suspension. Welded armor. We go with bogey's... No, nah, I'm not going to go with bogey suspension. Not for this. Um, I don't have access to the the artillery piece yet. Never mind. We'll hold off on that. Uh, am I researching that? Not yet. Sorry, railway gun. I need I need my my medium cannon for my, my tanks. You'll you'll get your day. You'll get your day. Still losing some convoys here to uh, democratic Italian raiding here in the south, but hopefully uh, British troops will get involved in these zones. Um, although they're mostly, Britain's not really doing so hot, uh, although I guess they are up against South Africa as well, so that's really threatening their ability to supply these areas. Um, that's a shame. Spain is still recovering from their civil war and not at all interested in joining our alliance. Um, alright, but with that having been said, that's our housekeeping completed. Let's go ahead and hit the go button. And we'll give, uh, let's leave an infantry expert. Because that's a very good thing to have. Uh, students are good to go. Kessel ring. Infantry expert. 
and here we go. Sep Dietrich will also give you Infantry Expert. I like Infantry Expert, can you tell? Um, these units are already deploying down here. Obviously we're going to have supply issues in Savoy. Because we always have supply issues in Savoy. I'm going to move these railways up above our current uh, construction projects and we'll put the uh, infrastructure building above that. So that means this front is going to be, it's going to be some time before we can get a proper advance unless we can rush into Torino and get uh, what we want to get without a fight. We've been embargoed by Burma. I don't know that that even... I don't want to say... I don't know that that doesn't... I don't know that that matters, but... Uh, I'm not trying to be cruel about it, but it does seem like that's basically the situation. Uh, never mind. We can get right over the Alps. I'm uh, actually just playing this invasion in my other... Uh, in the America campaign, even as we speak, and getting Torino is kind of the one thing, so we'll just go ahead and hit the go button on this. Uh, and with Torino distributing supply to our troops, none of that's going to matter. We got these two Italian divisions encircled, so now we're just going straight forward in and then doing what we need to do. Cool, alright. How's the air situation? Air situation's looking really good. Alright, and we've got a bunch of Hungarian troops over here. I don't know that necessarily affects the situation. Let's get our armored troops in here and see if we can't uh, go all the way to Rome. We'll set a very reasonable ambition for our uh, our thing. Uh, the question of Serbia. So what's going on here is we had an option to pressure the Yugoslavian government, um, and now Serbia's kind of become its whole thing. I don't... Uh, sorry, what I mean to say is Yugoslavia is doing a devolved uh, government structure, so they're organizing all of Yugoslavia into a bunch of different small countries. Um, I'm not going to press them. I don't necessarily need a bunch of tiny countries in my faction. I don't think they're going to be willing to regardless. We now stand supreme in Europe. Uh, France was long the country, the foundation of stability in southeastern Europe, but now the entire area is up for grabs. We can pull all the nations there in our orbit, with no one left to stop us. It's time to tell the Yugoslavians that they have to make a choice. Either they stand with us, or they will be swept away. Oh, what the heck, we'll do it. We'll do a, we'll do a big axis. I didn't realize what Slavin was not uh, moving forward, so we'll go ahead and get an order for him as well. There we go. Changing plans. You're going to invade a bunch more areas. Um, these... Okay, Britain has basically won these battles, it seems like. And we're winning the battles on uh, in the air. We've got a hold of an uh, airport in Venice. That's very good. So that lets us get access to the... Um, to the air zone... Over here. Oh my goodness. What is this? What, 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 what? Huh. Really collapsed. Wild. All right. Well, this is the, uh, this is the screen to demand what we desire in our, uh, our peace settlement. So we'll go ahead and start demanding. Uh, we want all of Poland. We're currently holding that, so it's very affordable here. Da, 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 da. Uh, can't get can't get Poland's navies. I think maybe we destroyed their navies. Um, we'll grab all of. The Netherlands. I don't know why Belgium's not on the table here. And we'll grab all of France. All of mainland France, at least. 
Okay, alright. I've started to run out my ability to take states. So we'll go ahead and hold for now. Hit the go button. Alright, that's everything from here. We'll continue to get French states. Again, don't know why uh, Belgium is not on the table here. We'll let Italy have the rest of Italy. That's not shocking. Um, so, now there's a bunch of territory in Africa. I think I'm going to leave that for Britain. There is uh, Madagascar I want. Uh, oh, the Dutch East Indies. Oh, it would be so good to have those. Um, I'm going to grab New Caledonia. And I'm going to grab the Dutch East Indies because I desire all their tasty, tasty rubber. Alright. Hmm. The Italians want Savoy. We shall demand it. And also we'll get Java. So that'll supply us with a bunch of rubber and oil and stuff. Britain wants all this territory. That's, I guess that's okay with me. Ooh, Curacao. I definitely desire it. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Britain's grabbed all the territory in Africa. That's not... Again, not a shock. Italy's probably going for Ethiopia. What else has the Netherlands got? Suriname and Curaçao. Suriname I don't need. Nothing in Italy. This is just a bunch of territories in Italy, right? Yeah. And then ships. Uh, let's go with... Let's steal the French fleet. Let's get it. All right, uh, they want Savoy, and they want, uh, and the British want Curacao, but I want them as well. Uh, Republican Italy will grab their fleet. Netherlands will grab their fleet. Duchess Indies grab their fleet. We're gonna take Savoy. I don't know where the Aru Islands there are, are. Let's get them. And is no one taking the rest of Ethiopia? Well, I mean... I guess I'll... I guess I'll puppet them. My goodness, there are a bunch of places. <laughs> Green, yellow, and red. Alright, here's today's content. Okay, Satellite Ethiopia, this is what we want. And we'll grab all of the other zones that Italy has not seized for their own. We will have as... Oh, Great Britain has demands there. All right, well, you two can fight over them. That's fine with me. Making sure there's nowhere else that's oh Cambodia, Lao, and uh, and oh, someone already grabbed Southern Indo China. Well, I want that. Uh, Tonkin. I'm gonna grab these territories. Lao, Cambodia, and 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 those ones. All right, Tonkin, Southern Indo China, Lao, Cambodia, Aru Islands. And I've just got about got enough to continue to contest those zones. Give me the Aru Islands. All right. I've actually got a bunch of points left over. Is there anywhere else that I want to take? I don't think so. No one else is still getting points. 
We'll confirm an X6. All right. And we've been embargoed by the Mexican Socialist Republic. So that's the end of the war in Europe for the moment. Uh, we... I didn't know it was going to go... Oh, okay, no, we're still at war. Because Belgium joined the Commonwealth of Nations. That's what happened. Um, well, unfortunately, I can't look at our total casualties or anything. Because um, we're not in that war anymore. But basically, we've achieved ownership over all of France. And uh, Mussolini is back in control of uh, Italy proper. Um, Great Britain and Mussolini have split up uh, Ethiopia. And everywhere else. There's still fighting happening in the Belgian Congo. Um, we got a hold of a bunch of territories in Southeast Asia. That's going to be very nice. So, let's see. Where else do we have ambitions? We definitely want to be able to project. So first of all, let's fill out some of these armies. Uh, this army here needs extra units. Uh, Kurt Student's army that was defending the Maginot Line uh, needs a few more divisions. Um, it's Laban's army needs a few more divisions. It needs a bunch more divisions, actually. Uh, here's Kesselring's army needs some more divisions. And then the remaining divisions that we've got in training will queue into the replacement army just as soon as we've got those units available. So now, where to deploy the forces? This army is up against Lithuania. That's very good. Probably going to attack there. And we've got another army against Romania. So let's go ahead and set these uh, invasion planes. And I should have a bunch of planes in the pot here. I'm going to go ahead and hold all these bomber wings. I'm going to get this bomber wing building, uh, building air experience. And we'll put the light bombers there in that same place. Um, is this all my fighters? That can't be right. Ah, no. The rest of them are here. So I'll have these ones come back to Brandenburg. And then we'll have this one train up. And then we'll get some new air wings deployed. In a minute, we'll get new airlines deployed. So I should have a bunch of fighters available. Here's some. Here's some. Not as many as I would have thought. Kind of, uh, kind of shocked, actually. But that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we'll deploy some more pass here and then uh, I think the next thing also we got a bunch of damage to our ships so we'll go ahead and increase the size of the repair queue and then I'm going to go ahead and increase the allocation for fighters. I vastly outran my ability to produce rubber before but uh, now I have absolutely no rubber issues because I've got the Dutch East Indies and I'm not going to lose them uh, we'll also go ahead and reduce our trade to Great Britain. I don't need these railways anymore, but they'll be pretty quick to build. We'll go ahead and build them anyway. Actually, no, that's silly. I don't. I need to. I need to be better optimized about this run than I am. <laughs> I have to remember, I'm not playing as America this time around. I can't just kind of build whatever I desire to build and trust that my economy will be able to handle it. So, plus in a minute, my. Uh, my ability to construct stuff is going to be completely goofed by my uh, my uh, MIFO bills coming due. So for now, let's just get these other units on the Soviet border. That's kind of our next territorial ambition here, because we're not necessarily concerning ourselves with the situation in... Um, in... Uh, we're not necessarily concerning ourselves with the situation in North America. I can I can kind of take or leave that. We'll get these units exercising. 
How are we with trucks? We're nearly salt sorted out on trucks. Um, and we're definitely going to need more anti-tank. I don't know why I thought I was going to get away with so little anti-tank, just because I always get away with very little anti-tank. So for construction, we're basically good to go. Let's go ahead and queue up this repair to make sure that finishes quickly. And then... We're at War Economy already. We will be able to get to... Um, we will be able to max out War Support eventually. Let's go ahead and use domestic film industry, though. No. We're going to do... Our, we're going to wait, and we're going to get... Uh, Heinz Kadarian, our Blitzkrieg Theorist, and he's going to make our armor faster. And then we'll be able to get uh, a Doctrine really, really cheap. So that's Synthetic Rebel. It's going to get us some research bonuses we kind of desperately need. Um, and from there, I think we're going to work on... Oh, we can get the Improved National Spirit. So this is something that's unique to Germany. Uh that basically lets us get, as long as we hold, uh, we or someone in our faction holds both Greater London Area and Eau de France, we can get one extra political power gain per day, which is really, really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. And that's really going to help us out with our political power situation. Um, we will be, Again, we will be able to go to total mobilization as soon as we're at war with a worthy opponent. But for now, we're, we're, for now we're chilling. Relax, right? Um, let's set these units to these zones. And there's our Let's Creek Theorist. And now we can get ourselves a Doctrine. It's going to be very cheap. Let's go ahead and get the next one in Mobile Warfare. And the next one in Mobile Warfare is going to be really cheap as well, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And from here, I have a Donate Fighters to Bulgaria button and an Invest in Turkish State Building button, which I am going to do. Donate Fighters to Bulgaria. You know what? Sure. Bulgaria accepts our donations. Good. The Bulgarian High Command has gladly accepted our proposal, and Boris III has personally thanked the donation uh, of our aircraft, stating that, that the relationship between the German Reich and Bulgaria is becoming stronger, more prosperous, and mutually beneficial. Wonderful. I think I am going to invest in Turkish state building in a bit. This is going to slow down our construction. Oh, we're not going to take the... Excuse me? Why is Mafia on the rise in... in? Oh, for Pete's sake, because of Savoy. God, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it! This is an, Ital uh, an Italian uh, event... Uh, status. It's all because I fought them for Savoy. Ah, I feel like a fool. So we are still at war, but you're at war. I'm not at war. We're at war with Canada. Probably would be smart to help Great Britain over there, but I just I can't be, be arsed. I'm doing, I'm, you know, I'm chilling today. All right, we're almost done with our repair queue. Much of our ships have taken a bunch of damage, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and... Do I still... I do still need to work on a few upgrades. So we'll go ahead and get those. We're almost done with the up-to-date artillery, and at that point we're going to design ourselves a medium tank. And that's going to be very important. Let's get... Oh, that's right. There's a real supply shortage in this zone. Thirty-nine radar, and that helps right. some of these units, but not a lot of them. Construction. All right, we'll go ahead and work on the railway done. Ooh, supplies really bad over here as well. Uh, Kesselring's army is eventually going to go down here, right. but for the moment, it's showing. Moment, it's Chilreich. 
Um, we've got a huge pile of infantry equipment, just an overwhelming uh, mass. So let's go ahead and queue in. Uh, yeah, we'll queue in 48, 40 more divisions. We've been embargoed by Free France, which I guess exists technically somewhere. We got some air units not doing anything, but again, I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and increase the game speed here. Do I want to... Actually, before I do this, do I want to invade Lithuania? I think probably yes. I think they're likely to be invaded by the Soviet Union. So if I invade them... I'm kind of getting the best of all worlds because I'm at war with an enemy I can completely ignore. Uh, let's... They did yield Memel, but... Uh, you know, I only care so much about that. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and prepare to conquer them. We'll, get, we'll grab a bunch of uh, Northern European territory over here. World tension's already at 100. There's nothing we need to worry about with this. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll get our planes in the air. We'll even get our planes in the air. The United States pursues interventionist policies. Well, that is going to potentially be a problem. So, the peace movement in the United States has suffered a severe setback as Congress passed a joint resolution encouraging President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to use military force if necessary to safeguard American interests around the world. It appears that many in Congress have decided that it was American indecisiveness that allowed the Great War to drag on for so long and consume so many lives. They point out that within a few months of U.S. troops entering Europe, the Great War had come to an end. An earlier intervention, they argue, could have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. They should stay out of other people's business. I want to intervene in Europe, not them. That's okay. Mr. Ali behind this cause. Oh, we've been embargoed by Switzerland. So, sorry, I skipped an event. That's a generic event that fires when you're uh when you're when you're justifying a war goal it's not an event that affects things a whole bunch this is actually really nice i can just take all these countries at my leisure um let's go ahead and grab some more air doctrines get formation fighting over here mexican socialist republic declared war in great britain that's interesting uh, oh, that's very good for us. I will happily join this war, and now I'm in a defensive war, which gives me higher war support. So, can I increase... No. They still don't have enough factories for us to be able to total mobilize, but that's okay. So there's the artillery upgrade. I'm doing the infantry, but the one will grab the anti tank one. And we'll get producing the new artillery. And now we'll design ourselves a tank. We finally got the capabilities we desire. Unless I'm still close to getting the new radio. Will this unlock a new radio option? It will not. All right, cool. <laughs> Just checking. So, here's what we want out of a medium tank. We want a medium turret. Let's go with a three-man turret. We'll go with a Christie suspension, welded armor. We'll stick with a gas engine. And for the gun, we'll go with the medium cannon. We'll do an improved radio. For special modules, nothing too fancy. We will do sloped armor. We will do additional machine gun. And let's go with wet ammo storage. To get us some extra reliability. Wow, that's that's reliability situation is really really rough. So we're at thirteen point seven five production cost with no engine or armor upgrades, but we're definitely going to want engine and armor upgrades. Um, gosh, that's pretty terrible reliability. But I think this is going to be our our tank. Uh, it's got pretty good soft attack, pretty good hard attack. This is good armor for the early game, frankly. And this is wonderful defense for a tank. So I think this is where we're going. Uh, 
this is Mem. Let's go ahead and save that. And let me actually double check Mem uh, to see if I can get myself some additional. This is Henschel. Man, here we go. Let's see if I can get some more reliability. Um, armor that's faster production. I can get more armor, defense, or breakthrough. Here's breakthrough, breakthrough, production output. Piercing, hard attack, and piercing. And just we can get reliability, speed, and reliability. Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll grab reliability. I don't think you need to click the update button for every time you do this, but I'm going to do it. So that's going to update this design, and now we should see, we called it the Panzer III, uh, yes, some slightly higher reliability. It's not great, but it's still okay. I'm going to call this the MBT-39, MBT for main battle tank. And yeah, we'll get these into production. Um, we will go ahead and queue them up above the basic tanks. In fact, we'll queue them up to the top because I got one factory and tank that I don't need in tank. And then we'll put them below our fighter expansion because fighters are critically important. And we're going to build, we're going to queue them up to, to uh, 20. I don't know why I was trying to do that individually. There's no point in doing it individually because um, we're going to need a lot of tanks. Did I get motorization drive? I did. Beautiful. So that should be fine. Forgot to do the uh, the air spirits, so let's go ahead and do them now. I'm going to want uh, effective training programs. Wait a minute. That's training experience game. That was dumb. I want air crew surveys. Reduce accidents chance and doctrine cost. Um, and then we'll do veteran air instructors. Something very historical. Germany did not do that. It's one of the reasons they lost the war. One of really a lot of reasons. So... I'm going to go ahead and deploy the eight uh, divisions that I got in training already and get this army exercising again. And then we'll go ahead and unpause. Oh, all right. You know, I think it's peace in our time. Let's go ahead and queue in some more military factories. Uh, because obviously we need to build up our capacity to produce all of those tasty, tasty tanks. These dockyards are free. We're going to need to figure out what to do with our dockyards in a little bit, but for the moment, I don't have to. I'm really tempted, actually, to research mechanized early. Uh, early researching mechanized would be enormously effective for my purposes. Oh, but it's no. There's there's more stuff to do in air. Got to get survivability studies and the other air upgrades. Ah, yes, I've got better infantry equipment available. Still doing very well for infantry equipment overall. Kind of struggling with support equipment. Um, Anti-tank is still completely borked. Robert borked over there. Uh, I don't need tanks, Italy. I think I think that's a tank. I think Fiat is a tank, but I could be wrong. Gosh, I really I really underproduced. I only produced I only put one thing of yeah. That's weird. That's weird. I don't know why I'm. Um, I, I so underestimated that. That's okay. All right. Just a con justification for conquering Zamaitia for Jimreich is finished. I love how I didn't even pay attention to which uh, part of the country I was going to conquer. Oh, interesting. Sweden has decided to uh, go ahead and guarantee the independence of my enemy. So, you know what? I forgot to queue this last one into one of these fleets. That's why they're going there. All right. 
half into the main fleet, and half into the secondary fleet. And then I realized that I uh, took a bunch of ships from France and other countries, and I completely forgot to figure out what to do with them. So, I'm probably not going to go after Lithuania right now immediately, because I've got to reorganize my fleets. Um, so I'll do that probably between episodes, and then I'll show you the results when we get started next time. Uh, but yeah, I think we're definitely going to go to war with Sweden. So, let's... Get ourselves a good army. These will be the divisions. Uh, we're going to do a naval invasion here at Karlskrona. We're going to do five and five. So we're going to risk five divisions in a... Uh, no, we're going to risk six divisions in an adjacent landing. U4 here, U3 here, U4 here, and U3 here. But, you know, we're playing as the bad guys. We don't... We lose six divisions of infantry. It's It only matters for our war support numbers. Yeah, and then we'll invade, invade Sweden. That'll be fun. That'll be interesting. Uh... The Estonia Finnish League will hopefully help us out uh, by opening a land front over here. That might also be an option. In fact, why don't we go ahead and put the rest of this army on that front and set up an invasion order. That'll be fun. I'm going to stick close to the coast, because I don't want to necessarily be, uh, the supplies can be terrible over here. Um, alright, but anyway, that'll be for next time. Uh, for now, though, I've had fun, I hope you all have had fun, and I will see you all on the other side.